I kind of started playing Breath of Fire 2 a little bit. Um, just in some downtime. And apparently fishing is dang near essential to that game. Uh, especially if you want to do like a low level run. I don't know why you'd ever want to do a low level run of a Breath of Fire game, because the uh... it takes so long to even level up anyway. That's nice. So we want to get... a box there. Let's... Here's the thing. Like, we were able to do things... And I'm gonna use a game like Chrono Trigger, or even Secret of Mana as examples here, because party style and setup. Um... Those games did a lot of interesting things, and they they didn't do them perfectly. There were some things that were a little goofy, um, but they worked. And I feel like Breath of Fire here, like you couldn't just program it so people wouldn't be standing on the conveyor. Chrono Trigger had that figured out. Um. Faces to hit chance. How about hit percent chance? I don't know. Breath of Fire 2 was doing some interesting things with world map stuff that they carried over to this game. Um, I don't know. I feel kind of like... I feel kind of like, um... A lot of the things that Capcom wanted to do, or could have been doing in these games, were already done. And they didn't take advantage of it. You know what I mean? Breath of Fire is good. I just feel like... I feel like they're behind, and the things they're behind on are things that happened already. It happened in other games before these, and was better. I, I can kind of appreciate, you know, trying to be old school about it, but... Level up for Momo and Nina there. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. It's our last antidote. It's kind of like I played Mega Man 9 and I played Mega Man 10 and it had been a long time since we had a retro style Mega Man game and I feel like at least in Mega Man 9 terms oh boy look at that it's moving it don't got a face He'd say, we tampered in God's domain. Well, who says we have to get rid of it? It's alive. It's sentient. Didn't kill it. Prime directive. Oh, I don't wanna. I can do it. Don't wanna. Oh, that's no good. Guess we might better 
so Momo learned in a level up Quake. All targets. Assuming that does not mean us. So, Mega Man 9. <clears throat> I promise this will make sense. Even too that Capcom's involved. Um. Um, my god, stop. Let me pause that till that clears up. Sorry. I see what's going on. Okay? Okay. I think we're good. Sorry. Um, there's a scan thing I thought I had turned off, but I guess not. Um,. Let's dragon thing. Right, all three? Sure, why the hell? No, we don't have enough. Don't have enough AP. We'll try that. <clears throat> so, Mega Man 9, made by Capcom, published by Capcom, also made by the people who did this, which is Capcom. And here's, I feel like Mega Man 9 wasn't, and this is probably completely and totally wrong, and I'm fine with it being, oh wow, big dag rod. Um, let's try nice, I guess, Let me just attack, flame claw, let's try that. Um. I feel like it wasn't made by somebody who ever played these kind of games, but it was made by somebody who was told about these kind of games. Does that make sense? Like, I don't think... I mean, Mega Man 9 was not Mega Man hard. You know what I mean? Mega Man 9 was Mega Man hard if you'd never played Mega Man. That's my feeling and my thought on it. So, I kind of feel like, and this is totally wrong. I'm sure it's wrong. But I feel like games like Breath of Fire, um, even Secret of the Stars to an extent, were not made by people who really spent a lot of time playing role-playing games, but were told about role-playing games. You know what I mean? So, great. Dragon's asleep. <clears throat> and we aren't dragging anymore. Wonderful! So I imagine this would be like somebody told somebody about Chrono Trigger and they tried to like incorporate it in a way. It's, it's not bad, it just it feels archaic. And this shouldn't... The third game in a series on a newer console shouldn't feel older than the First game on a series on a more uh, aged console. Oh, I'm sorry, mutant. I didn't want to kill you. You look kind of like a robot.
can't move. You're gonna make me do it, huh? <clears throat> I feel like there should be a fence around that giant pit of magma. Please stop. And so our orphan, the princess, and the weirdo who killed the broadside of a barn adopted the mutant onion baby. <clears throat> oh my. You look like you should be voiced by John Benjamin. Um, I guess you'll come along. We're going to be doing some level grinding in our off screen -in. Oh my goodness, that's horrible. Let's get out of here. Flame Sluggy's gonna die instantly. Normal slugs. No abilities. And you glow. Perfect. It's <sighs> maxi AP for dragon stuff. Great, can't get out. Have to do the thing. Free enough. All right, Pecco. Do us proud, little onion. I named you Vadinho. Good job, Pecco. You didn't die. Can you only gain one level per battle, no matter how much EXP you get? Why are you extra animated? <laughs> I don't like it. Yeah, I fast-forwarded that one, and I shouldn't have, because Pekko actually got to do something. Uh, Pekko can counterattack like Ryu can. And it's different. <laughs> We'll see if we can run into another something here. <coughs> Excuse me. Ah, 
Okay. I'm gonna make a stop before we go back because we want to go here. Because I read a thing. Fire, that is. Yeah, transforms and punches things. And he regens because he's a plant, I suppose. So, yeah, he's gonna hang out. And what he can do... Smack rocks with his face. And stuff like that now. That's, I think, all we wanted to do here. But we'll check the place out anyway. so far, which is kind of nice. Sparkling Spring, so to be the home of fairies. We... Ah! Twos of dollars! Incredible. Oh, I don't need to push the button. He can just walk into him. Did you use this rock, little Peko? I like an honest person. Here's a better rock! Ooh. We're borrowing from every other game ever. Oh, Peko is about ten levels behind everybody. So I don't know how much leveling up will do with him. Probably not a ton. But I'd like to get him kinda sorta close to everybody. Oh, that's a knife! I know that from a vagrant story. That agility boost is nice, but stick with the power. I've decided I'm going to peek at a guide. <clears throat> oh, we have a new goo. Goo Titan. Fancy. Holy crap. Not what we want. Mage 
Rescue. I just don't have any AP. That's not good. That's what we're gonna do. You use the taser. You heal yourself. You attack Puffku. Holy crap. You might run away. I better be able to get out of here. I haven't saved. Until right there. If it was probably just the Titan, we probably would have been fine. We're gonna do one more thing for Peko. Um, and then we'll continue onward. All right. Do we want to go, I think, here? Dolphin. Yes, I can. Yes, I do. That's no good. Aww. We need a wisdom fruit. So this is something that I didn't know about. Um... <clears throat> We can be apprenticed by uh, some of the trees. Let's try this one more time. And you gotta have, um... so we give the Ready? fruit, we give the fruit to the tree. Um... None of this was explained in any of the videos I watched. The idea is we move that green bar to keep the fish in it. I don't know what words you're saying, sir. Alright, no, we're done. So, and then we, anyway, we take, we go to the tree, we give it a thing, and then it says, well, let somebody in your party apprentice to the tree. And I don't know what that does. Um, so, yeah. Uh, we'll uh, see what we can do with that later on. This is where we crashed. Thank you. 
And I think this is where I'm going to do my leveling up for Peko, Pico, whatever. And all of that. So for now, visit the coffee shop so we can save. We'll hit the ruins, the tower up so maybe we can buy some equipment for everybody. And etc. etc. So whenst next we meet uh, Momo and Pico. Will uh, be a little higher level. Hopefully, we'll have some better equipment. If I can find a wisdom fruit, we'll go back and visit that tree. But I don't know. Maybe we can't find one around here. Maybe I get lucky and I can buy one. What was your deal, lady? The items? That'll work for now. Whenst next we do done meet, ladies and gentlemen, um, we'll be hopefully a little better situated for whatever may come in the future. Thanks for watching. See you later.